Hello, I'm Officer Milton Fogg, uh, Berwick Police Department. I'm here today at the library to do readings. Uh, the first book I'm going to read is Gerald. My, my daughter's favorite book about the big giraffe named Gerald is actually called Giraffes Can't Dance. And the other book that my daughter loves is uh, Nibble the Book Monster. And that's the other book I'm going to be reading today to the kiddos here at the library. If you haven't been introduced yet, this is Officer Fogg. And he brought um, some great books to share with you today. Yeah. He said they're two of his daughter's favorites. Yep. So he's going to share those. And then I bet if you have questions and you want to ask him about being a police officer, he'd be happy to answer those questions. Yep. And he brought his car with yep. him today. So we get to check that out later. So I'll try to speak loud and show you. I mean, I was always used to as a kid, when my teacher did this, she used to always show me the book, and we were always close That's as we did it. My yeah. So I will try. The first book I have is uh, Nibbles the Book Monster. Um, it's about a mischievous little book monster. You see, he chews his way through the book. So we'll start with that. Yeah, he's Nibbles the Book Monster. This is a story about a little monster called Nibbles. Nibbles. There's Nibbles. He's in like little makeshift jail in there. <laughs> they had to keep him caged up because he's a mischievous little guy. So there's Nibbles. It says Nibbles likes to nibble soap. See him eating on a little soap bar up there? <laughs> and Nibbles likes to nibble on socks. Ooh, yeah, socks. Ugh. I don't think I like Nibbles in that area. Nibbles chomps on rubber ducks. Look at the little rubber ducks in the. <laughs> nice. Nibbles loves to nibble on toes. Ooh. And Nibbles munches clocks. And Nibbles. Nibbles hooks. Look at that. He nibbles on pretty much everything by the looks of it. Disgusting. <laughs> but Nibbles' favorite thing of all to nibble on is books. books. Look at him smile. Look at that big old smile he's got thinking about books. <laughs> he's licking his lips. Yes. Nibbles likes to nibble on books. That's his favorite oh, thing. I see a book sandwich. I need a book sandwich. Oh. Oh no! Oh no! Where's Nibbles? Did he break out? You guys see him? Is he breaking out? Uh oh! Uh oh! He's gone! He's nibbled his way out of this book! Oh no, that is not good! See where he went? Oh. Can you see him? You see him? Where is he? I don't see him! You see him? Right there. Oh, he's right there. Look at there he is. All right, there you see him. We found him, but all I can see is his little feet. He's running. It says he's gone again, so he disappeared again. Let's go to the next page, see if we can find him. Ooh, look at that. He's nibbled through recipe books. He's nibbled through everything over here. Oh, what did he do over there? He's. Oh. He went into the Goldie Hawn. Our Goldie Locks and the Three Bears. <laughs> Goldie Hawn. Yeah, that's a new character in Disney. You didn't know that. Goldie Locks and the Three Little Bears went into the book. See? Right here. Went right in there. See right there? So we open up the book and see where Nibbles went in there. It says, first Goldie Locks tried the big bowl of porridge. Yuck. Salty. See her up here? She's trying the porridge. You see the hole that Nibbles made in the little book? Yeah. Yeah, Nibbles, he's being mischievous. Nibbles. Then she tried the between size bowl of porridge, too I sweet. Then Goldilocks tried the teeny tiny bowl of porridge and it was, ah, monster! Nibbles is scaring her, look at that. Looks like Nibbles ate the rest of the porridge. <laughs> he's enjoying it down there. Uh-oh, what's he? And then he burped, you see that burp? Oh, he burped. What a bad little monster he is. He burped. Oh, then he went to the next page. Look at the little bears. The bears are like, uh-oh. When the three bears came home, they were shocked. Someone's eaten my porridge. Someone smashed my chair. Someone's broke everything. I wonder who that someone could be. And there she is. She's saying, it wasn't me. It was a monster. She's pointing up the little monster made his way out of the book again. Man, this Nibbles is mischievous. He's running everywhere. Look at that big old hole that he put in my book. 
Oh, look at that. Good old, he's a nibbler. <laughs> he made his way all the way through to the to the next page into the Little Red Riding Hood book. Uh-oh, you see the, see he made his way into Little Red Riding Hood's book? Oh man, he, he's going into Little Red Riding Hood's book. Let's find out where he went. So everybody remember the story of Little Red Riding Hood? Yeah. So, so Nibbles has nibbled his way in. You have Little Red Riding Hood? Awesome. Well, there's Nibbles down there. Look at, what's he wearing? Oh, a red riding hood. <laughs> he's, he's wearing Little Red Riding Hood's outfit, isn't Nibble he? Red riding hood. Nibble Red Riding Hood. I like it. Deep in the dark forest of Little Red Riding Hood found Grandma's cottage. You can see her going in there. Little Red knocked on the door and went inside and Grandma looked very strange. I look strange. What about the Little Red? She doesn't look right at all. Look at Little Red. Look at Grandma looking at Little Red here. <laughs> oh, Little Red, what a cute fluffy paw you have. What a rumbling, grumbling tummy and what a nibble little teeth you have. All the better to nibble through this book with. <laughs> Nibbles is going through to the next page. He's going to turn it into a chicken. He is. I, after a terrible hullabaloo, Grandma was set free from the, from the cupboard. Grandma was in the cupboard, a Little Red Riding Hood. Let me in. This little story is meant to be about me, says Little Red Riding Hood. She's all upset. See, it's he supposed to be about me. He Did. My hero, thanks, Nibbles, is what Grandma said as she got released from the cabinet. <laughs> Oh, Nibbles, you've turned me into a chicken. I feel so fluffy. See how he turned the, he nibbled through the one page so the wolf looks like a chicken, see? <laughs> Nibbles is chewing his way through everything. And he's saving his grandma. He is. All right, what story did he went into Jack and the Beanstalk this time? Do you guys remember Jack and the Beanstalk? He's chewed his way into that book now. He's making his way through all these books. Let's, Golden Goose, that's right, let's see where he went. All right, Jack hid just in time, the giant was home and Mr. Giant stomped his way, his giant door and sat on the giant chair, but something didn't feel quite right. He took a giant sniff and said, fee fi fo bum oh, He got bit by Nibbles, look at that. Nibbles bit him in the bum. <laughs> Little Nibbles is nibbling on everything. Something just bit my buddy and they're running away buddy. with my goose. And now Nibbles stole the goose. Buddy. Buddy. <laughs> this little Where Nibbles. In the cage? I don't know, maybe at the end. I don't know if we catch him. Mr. Giant tried to catch the intruder and the golden goose. Come back here. But they managed to escape. See it? Nibbles nibbled his way through to the next page. Oh, look what he's doing. Nibbling his way through. It's not a page. It's not a page. <laughs> Fee fi fo fum. I'll get you back. <laughs> Nibbles. I love this little character. He's great. When Jack and the giant beanstalk is back in the back garden, he finds a giant house, a giant golden goose, a gigantic grumpy giant. Will Jack set the poor goose free and will he make it home for dinner? Phew. See Jack going down the beanstalk right there? You guys see Nibbles? Nibbles? Where's Nibbles? He's on the goose. Where is he? Oh, he's on the goose. He's, he's hang gliding. He's hang gliding off the goose. Woo. You guys see little Nibbles hanging on to the goose over there? She says he's hang gliding. I like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. The golden goose has dropped Nibbles back into his own book. Ouch. Look at that, he got dropped back into his own book. Oh, you, oh, hold on. Thank you, Golden Goose. Now, quick, quick, close the door before Nibbles can escape. Oh, phew. We caught that mischievous little Nibbles. We got him. Oh, wait, is it over? Oh, you want to let him back out? Oh, we got to keep him in there. Phew, well done. You really, you must have taken your eye, you must not take your eyes off the book. Not even for a second. Hold on, let me go to the next page. Hold on, stop, can you hear something? What's that noise? Nibble, crunch, phew, what happened? Open it. 
He nibbled the book. He nibbled his way. Ah. Oh. Where'd it go? He broke the book. Gone. Nibbles. Nibbles. Nibbled. Oh no, he's gone again. He made it though. Okay, guys. Good job. He nibbled his way out of the book. He's gone. Oh, look. You see the little little wanted poster on the back? <laughs> see it? He's wanted. Wanted poster. All right. That's the end of Nibbles. What'd you guys think? You like Nibbles? All right. I'm going to read the next book. You guys ready for the next one? This is my personal favorite book. My daughter loves Nibbles. I like this one more. This is about a giraffe that says they say can't dance. You guys ever heard this book before? No. Oh, some? Trust me. I think you guys will like, you have this book at home? All right, I think you guys will like this book. So this book is called Giraffes Can't Dance. That used to be at my school. It used to be at your school? All right. All right. Giraffes Can't Dance is the name of the book. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. Yeah, that's old Gerald. He's a little blue. He is a little blue, isn't he? He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Crash. Look at that. When he tried to run, he fell. <laughs> Good. Now, every year in Africa, they hold a jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. See the big jungle dance that's getting ready to go on? Oh, yeah. The jungle dance. All right. Jungle dance. And this year, when the day arrived, Poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. I'm with Gerald. I can't dance either, so. <laughs> Here we go. The warthog started to waltz and the rhinos rock and rolled. See the rhinos and the warthogs over here? No? There you go. Am I missing that side? You see it now? The lions danced the tango that was elegant and bold. Look at the lions. You see the lions? See the lions doing the tango? <laughs> yeah. He probably did. The chimps all did their cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Scottish reel. It's a type of dance. See them dancing? Everybody's dancing but old poor Gerald. Yes, sweetie. He did, huh? All right. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lion saw him coming and soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald. The animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Poor Gerald. They're kind of picking on him, right? That ain't very nice. Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? He actually can. He can. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. I feel like such a clot. Oh, poor Gerald. That's not very good, right? We don't want to feel that way. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before, so sad and all alone. Poor Gerald. Poor Gerald. Oh. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. See him looking at the moon? Yeah. Awesome. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald early on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. See, he's making Gerald listen to all the sounds around him. <laughs> so imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. 
Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. Oh, what's Gerald starting to do? Dance. dance. Gerald's starting to dance, right? Thought they said he couldn't dance. Looks like he's dancing to me. There's hope for me and Gerald. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt into the air. Woo, that's pretty good for somebody that can't dance, right? <laughs> yeah. You can, huh? Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, yes, I'm dancing. I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Look at that, he's very happy now. He's dancing. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. He must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. Woo, big change, huh? Now they love him. He's a special dancer. He's standing up. All right. On his hind legs. I love it. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. See him bowing? Keep bowing. Bowing. He's bowing. This is how you bow. Here's the most important part. Ready? Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. That's the end. All right. I should take a bow? There you go. Now you can see my bald spot. Really good. <laughs> Do you guys have questions for me? Huh? How many of you guys want to go see the car? Oh, there you go. And if some of you want to sit in the back, you can see what the back, you, you do? You're just visiting, right? You're not going to permanently be right there. Just kidding. Take her away. That's where the bad guys go, back there. We can put the window down and you guys can see the bars. Go ahead, sit right in there. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.